Mama Veshi. Okay, dude. Um, we added a new articulation called up down. So play up on the high E, down on the B string, and get it going very steady without looking at that hand. And then just run the scale on your left hand, the major scale. So you do up, down, up, down, up, down. And then work your way down. If you need to do each one twice or even four times initially, that's good. Just to steady your hand. Try to keep the melody connected. You don't need to keep lifting your first finger off. Just shift to the next position. Okay, for your scales, we went um, through to the uh, the D and the G scale. So we added two. So now you have E, A, D, G, major, and minor. So the majors are... A. Now the D, you get that little shift. Maybe that's all I added. No. I can't remember. I may or may not have added G major. And then in your minors, I think I added D and G as well, and they look like this. So here's your E that you know. Here's A that you know. And then D shifts two notes up on the B string. first note. Okay, and then um, beat it sounds good, bad sounds good, uh, redemption song sounded good, and we added uh, come together. So the main riff here that I didn't teach you, I just wrote down goes double open E, then hammer on the A string at two. Sorry, that was sloppy again. And you play the open G. And then you land on the second fret of the D string. So it's short, 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 long, long. Okay, now for the main groove, you put your first finger on the A string, second fret, and leave it down. And then every two beats, you add your third finger to the A string. And the notes you're strumming are six and five. So you're gonna practice hitting just two strings. These are very guttural, they're called power chords. And it's it's the basic traditional blues groove. You do two of each like this. Here come old flat top, he comes grooving up slowly. So you do eight of those, one being that's one, you do it eight times. Then you leave your first finger in place, shift your ring finger to the D string. Now practice playing just five and four in your right hand. This is a B power chord. So, um, I know you, you know me. That's four measures. And then you just shift your first finger down to the D string and play five and four open, five open and then D second fret. That's an A power chord, and that's back to be good looking cause he's so hard to see. So if I play the whole verse chord, it's verse, excuse me, it's um here come on flat top, he comes grooving up slowly. He got juju eyeball, he's one whole roller, got me down below his knees. Hold you in his armchair. And then the chorus goes back to the previous chord, which is no, the previous shape but four and six. Then you move it down to two and four. Then you go to the open one, A, and then back to two and four. And so it's, what's important is knowing how many beats on each. It's six, four, two, excuse me, that was wrong. Six, two, four, one, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. One, two, three, four, one. Come together. That's it, friend. Have fun.